Squared, and welcome to another episode of Watch Along with Char Fox. That's me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we continue Ruby. What? Okay. <laughs> We're going with it. <laughs> we continue Ruby, Volume 4, World of Remnant, Between Kingdoms. Fixing camera, we're going this way, here we go, boop, 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 all right, perfect. Starting now. <laughs> so, now you know more about the kingdoms. Yes. But What's between the big cities? Mm. All right, the easy answer is Rim. There's no reason to beat around the bush. They're out there. All right. It probably won't go well if you run into one. That's okay, because you're a huntsman. Or huntress. Mm -hmm. And you've trained at one of the major academies, so you're probably fine. Just don't get yourself overrun by a pack of them. Now, after a long day of killing Grimm and saving the world, you're going to probably want to stop at a small town inn. Small villages dot the land between the major cities. You might ask, with the wilderness being so dangerous, why not just live in the big cities? Well, that life isn't meant for everyone. These small towns are founded by people that have a problem with the kingdoms, or don't want to deal with the kingdom's problems, or maybe just enjoy the simpler life and would rather take their chances in the wild than in a kingdom. Okay. It goes about as well as you'd think. If the founders are smart, then there's a good chance these towns can survive for the same reason the kingdoms continue to. Natural barriers, strong defenses, stubborn citizens okay. if you don't have at least a few of those then you know, the chances of a town lasting more than a year isn't great unfortunately it's not just the grim running around ruining towns wandering bandits are another threat these groups of usually fairly skilled fighters travel the lands never settling in one place they often prey on convoys sending goods between kingdoms that's not all these raiders will often wait for a town to be at its weakest, maybe after a grim attack or while its fighters are out hunting, before finally moving in at night and striking. Bunch of jerks. Bunch of jerks indeed. Is, if the grim hadn't attacked before, you'd better be damn sure they will now. And you can't exactly have bandits raid your town without at least a few negative emotions. This is also why bandits never stay in the towns they conquer. With attitudes like the ones they have, Grimm tend to be pretty interested in them as well. As okay. long as they keep moving, they've got a better chance of survival. Besides these small towns, the areas between kingdoms really depend on the continent. Harsh deserts, icy tundras, lush forests, you name it. At this point, pretty much every inch of Remnant has been mapped out. Okay. Although there are some areas that no one's gone into and come out alive. And of course, somewhere out there is where she is. Okay. That's that. All right. So let's fix the camera really quick. We're going now this way and boop, 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 boop. Splitting the video now. <laughs> 